It is your brother, Larry Adenekon, welcoming you to the Really Really Knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of our great God, all powered by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Inspiration, the PLACE. <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus Christ. We are shining truth this morning on wealth building for the Christian, coming from 3 John, the first two verses of 3 John. And um, shall we pray? And then we go into it this morning. Father God, we give you thanks and thanks and thanks and thanks and thanks for your goodness and your mercies which endure forever, O God, and of which we testify. As we go into share together this morning, we ask your help, O God, in Jesus' holy name, because it's not by power nor by might, but by your spirit and he alone. Thank Thank you. In Jesus' is holy name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Third John. The elder, <clears throat> that's John now, to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. And then he goes on from there. But we are reading just the first two verses. Okay, now it says to the beloved Gaius. First of all, this Gaius must be some prominent uh, Christian, some prominent brother at that time to whom he wrote. But you see, uh, they were up to three, four geosis somewhere in the Bible. So we don't even know which of the is this one, whether it's the same ones we have read before or yet another one um, in, that John was writing to. Okay, so let's leave that and go on. Now it says, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just like your soul prospers. And that's all we want to focus upon today. First and foremost, this is... Um, um, the New King James, but in King James it says, I wish above all things, and I know that a lot of, pro I mean, messages and teachings, you know, have gone in this direction, I wish above all things, okay, this one's just say, I pray that you may prosper in all things, that's, you know, uh, so this, the all things have, you know, kind of moved to the, after they prosper, <laughs> before the King James says, I pray, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, this one says you may prosper in all things, Hallelujah. And I think I like that one. Prosper in all things and be in health even as your soul prospers. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Okay. So, uh, what are we seeing here? <clears throat> this, is, this is it. It seems to be talking about physical and material prosperity. Because you say, it says, um, and be in health as your soul prospers. So, you see that it was talking about... Uh, Material prosperity, prosperity of gains, prosperity of uh, possessions, prosperity of um, a good place, you know, in life, prosperity of um, um, <clears throat> good flow of income, of resources and things like that. That's what he's talking about because he spoke about also being in health, which will be physical now, and then spoke about as your soul prosper. So we're going to look at all those three very quickly, and that's, that's it for this morning by the grace of God. Amen. So... I pray that you prosper in everything, <clears throat> just as you know, and also be in health, just as your soul prospers. In other words, for Gaius, there was a certain aspect that was prosperous, and which John referred to, and that was when he says his soul was prospering. Amen. But he now was praying that he will be in health, that's physical prosperity now, and also have material prosperity. <clears throat> acquisitions and possessions and things like that. Now, so he prayed for prosperity in all those um, aspects along with his health as uh, the soul was already prospering. Amen. So let's begin with prosperity, uh, the one that was already happening. It says your soul, his soul was prospering. Now let us look at, let us understand something here. Soul here is actually referring to um, um, a grouping together of the soul and spirit. It appears like that in several places in the Bible. They will just say soul. Just says, or just write soul. But if you look at it very well, it's talking about the spirit already inside the soul. Because they are so very much together, so strongly together, so difficult to uh, separate that the word of God was used, it was used to describe the efficacy or the sharpness of the word of God. When he said the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, able to divide that son that between the soul and spirit. In other words, normally we cannot be divided. They always go together. Somebody dies, the soul and spirit, they disappear. You know, you know, they go together. All right. So where many times in the Bible, they would just call it soul. But it's for those of you who understand as you are reading that you know that here is talking about the soul and the spirit joined together. That's one. Now, second thing I want to say is this. When it comes to spiritual prosperity, 
A lot of us are familiar with that one. When somebody is prospering spiritually, his spirit man is doing well. He is strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. He knows the Lord. He has a life of God on the inside. You know, we all kind of understand, you know, what spiritual prosperity is. But that soulish prosperity or the prosperity of the soul, you know, I said that the two of them have been grouped together here. So I'm looking at the one that we are not quite familiar with, or which many of us do not really pay attention to, or do not understand, do not picture when we talk about soul being prosper. Because many times when you say soul is prospering here, they're probably talking about salvation, you know, and things like that. But it's a little bit more than that. And I want to break it down very quickly uh, today before we go on to work. Now, the prosperity of the soul, you need to understand the soul. The soul is that aspect of, of man, or the second aspect of man is a tripartite being, the spirit, the soul, and the body. That soul aspect of man is where we have the seat of the emotions, the seat of the will, the seat of the, of the mind or the intellect, your decision-making faculty. All of those things are, are, are um, um, domiciled i don't know <laughs> that's where they are they, they they are in the soul area so when we talk about soul that's uh um the emotion aspect if any man shall draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him when somebody gets excited or gets sad it's, it's typically in the soulish area you know <clears throat> Once in a while, something happens that makes your spirit drop low. That, you know, but typically speaking, it's in this, it's in the soul area uh, where you analyze things and make a decision. That's your mind, and where you exercise your will, your power to choose. All those things are in the soul. Now, so when it says that you, the prosperity of the soul is when you are prospering in those things I just described. I know, like I, like I said before, they go together with the spirit, but I'm trying to make a distinction now so that you can have an understanding that it's possible for you to know the word of God, to know God, to uh, be strong spiritually, to feed yourself with the word of God, and these other areas you still are lacking in that area. That's where you have some people saying somebody has emotional intelligence. Yeah, it's in the soul area. So there's a way you can prosper in that area. In terms of your emotion, your emotions are, are rugged, they are road they are they are yeah they are rugged they are i mean um yeah it's just good it's balanced it's um uh better controlled you know and think that is prosperity in the area talk about the area of your your power to choose when you have learned to use your power your power of choice when you have learned to use it very well and each time you are prospering in that area the power of, of um of uh, what else did i mention now the mind okay the intellect that is the way you prosper in that area as well that's why you find some people both of them are in the soul the intellect is there the emotions are there somebody is very very um prosperous emotionally they say it has high emotional intelligence but when it comes to um, um the typical thing that we often refer to as you know intelligence is not quite the best in that area you know and all that they all sit there but you see you need to believe god to prosper in all those areas that is what the bible says chaos was already prospering in amen so the apostle was now writing in that apart from all these ones i also want you to prosper in your health i want your health to be good and i'm saying that to somebody this morning too it's important for you for your health to be good you eat good food you exercise and you sleep adequately those three things very very important eat good food the things that get into your body make sure that it is good it is very very good food um what i mean by good food some people refer to as healthy food okay that is not uh indulgent just something really good that's going to do your body a lot of good um plenty of water exercise okay and all that and then good enough sleep good enough sleep and let your sleep be regular it's not good to just sleep you know anyhow as it comes make sure that your sleeping pattern is very regular all those things are important for your health and then finally it says i wish that you prosper in all things and this is where some people quarry what they call the prosperity message they say it has it has um it has hampered Christianity. It has uh, slowed us down. It has made us to be compromisers. It has made the world to, you know, have things to say, to reproach us, to have things to say about. Look, the fact that some people are mismanaging or misusing some things this does not mean that those things are not they are not good. Some, some people be, you may mismanage power doesn't mean that power is not good. You may mismanage um, mention anything does not mean that thing is not good in itself. It's the people who are handling it now. When some people have mismanaged 
prosperity message. They have mishandled the prosperity message. They have been selfish with the prosperity message. They have skewed to one direction with the prosperity. It does not mean that that thing is not biblical. It is biblical. And we see it here. John the Apostle in his old age praying that somebody will actually prosper materially. Um, prosper in terms of health, also prosper materially, just as you are prospering in your spirit and soul. Your spirit and soul are doing good, and we really appreciate that, but I really want you to prosper materially as well, and I want your health to be good. That's what the apostle was saying. So I've just spoken about health now. So also material prosperity, it is the will of God. It's something that God wants us to have. Amen. And so we should talk about it. We should not shy away from because of misuse or, or mishandling by some people. God wants us to prosper. But very quickly, I want to say something. That the prosperity in the Christian is to be done or built or acquired in the way of God. And what does God expect us to do? God expects us to build uh, wealth. That's what God expects us to do. And the way you go about building wealth, I'd like to refer to in uh, Proverbs chapter 13. Um, nevertheless, I may have to read it in some other version very quickly, but let's go on and read. In Proverbs chapter 13, and verse 11, it says, Wealth gained by dishonesty will be diminished, but he who gathers by labor will increase. Now, that be part of it. I like it in some other versions, and that's what informs. When you look at the Amplified Version, Amplified Version says, He who gathers little by little, or little upon little, shall increase wealth. If you look at it in the New International Version as well, NIV, it says, little by, for little by little, wealth is made. That's the, that's the way God expects the Christian to do it. Not for you to be dreaming that one day, something that we call breakthrough will just happen. That's the kind of thing some of us are saying, and that's why some people are looking at us and, and thinking that we are, we are preaching the wrong thing. Oh, one day, breakthrough will just come, and then we just wake up, and then you are prosperous. Oh, one day, one, what do you call the great turnaround will just happen, you know, and then prosperity will just come that kind of a thing that's not scriptural the scriptural the scriptural thing is that little by little it is built and when you have that understanding you begin early yeah since you know that it's little by little you, you begin early and you begin to to build your wealth be conscious that wealth is built it's just like you are building a house and you are laying uh, one coach or one round of block and another round right after it and another, another round. You do it stepwisely and it grows until it becomes a house. Now, so also is wealth supposed to be built. This thing about waiting that one day jackpot will hit you. You know, uh, some breakthrough will just come, some turn around and we make it, you know, themes of our, of our conferences and things like that. That thing is what some people are reproaching us about because they know that that is I don't know, I don't want to say some things, you know, hoping for what is really, really not according to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Little by little, wealth is built. And begin early. If you understand, if you believe what I'm sharing this morning, begin early by the grace of God. And trust that God, Lord, we find in your word that this thing is done little by little. Help me to build. You build your business, you build your accounts, you build whatever it is you are doing. Small, 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 small. Over time. Such that by the time you have built this thing over a long time, people will respect you. Today, we can talk about some you know some some people who have done that little by little they began to build i don't want to mention names here because i'm not trying to advertise anybody but just ask around and, and find out the, the biggest investors in uh, this our uh, planet earth you find out that they had it one of them died like two months three months ago and all the papers was full of you know his name and all that yeah um little by little people respect those things because such people you know more than these ones who just wake up and is already a very very well the person <laughs> may god help us in jesus mighty name thank you very much for sharing time with us today we really do love you please remain and let others know about what is happening here thank you god bless you